good morning today we are going to discuss data wise recovery techniques and at this point in time or in this lecture we are going to discuss data purpose of database recovery type of failures what is transaction log how data can be updated data caching a transaction rollback and roll forward checkpointing recovery schemes okay then now uh, what is the purpose of database recovery to bring the database into the last consistent state which existed prior to the failure suppose that when you are doing a transaction or when you are in a database there are there is some uh, failure then you have to uh, you have to bring the uh, database into the last consistent state which existed prior to the failure to preserve transaction pro uh, transaction properties that is asset properties atomicity consistency isolation and durability example if the system crashes before a fund transfer transaction completes fund transfer before the transaction completes its execution then either one or both accounts may have incorrect value thus database must be restored to the state before the transaction modified by any of the accounts that means we have to oh, revert to the last consistent state so types of failures the database may become unavailable for use due to transaction failure transaction may fail because of incorrect input deadlock uh, we have discussed what is what are what is deadlock incorrect synchronization etc system failure can happen system may fail because of addressing error application or operating system fault ram failure etc etc media failure can also be there red hat crash or disruption etc that means For, uh, these are the types of failures then what do you mean by a transaction log that means for every transaction uh, from any type of failure data values prior to modification for example suppose that i i, I am going to have x is equal to x plus 10 and suppose that the initial value of x is 100 and the final value will be 110 that means before image and after image that means uh, before modification what was the image and after modification what is the image that means before a modification the value of x is 100 and after modification it will be 110 so bfim uh, means before image and afim stands for after image these values and other information is stored in a sequential file called a transaction log every transaction is stored in a transaction file a sample log is given below back p means back pointer and next p means next pointer the point to the previous and next log records of the same transaction uh, uh, that means point, using pointers we are storing this because uh, this is just like a, a linked list that is transaction id back pointer next pointer operation data item uh, before image and after image initially in a, a transaction t1 you have back pointer that means it is a starting back point is equal to 0 next point is equal to 1 and the operation is begin transaction previous data item uh, bfim afim etc uh, uh, it is uh, not applicable here and t1 uh, back pointer is 1 and next pointer is 4 back next pointer is 4 uh, it is a write operation and the data item is x and the before image that means before uh, the instruct before uh, executing the instruction the value of x is 100 and after image is 200 then another transaction t2 the back point is 0 and the next point is 8 and this is just a begin now um, T1 next transaction is T1 and back pointer is 2, uh, next pointer is 5. It is a right operation. W stands for right operation and uh, R stands for read operation. W stands for right operation. And after writing the value data item Y, Y is equal to 50 and that is updated to 100 again. In next is uh, T1 4 7 and it is a read operation and the reading is uh, non destructive that means uh, before image and after image is same this is an example of a transaction log data uh, update means that immediate update as soon as data item is modified in the case that means as i told you uh, uh, the the 
image is brought in the main memory then uh, it is stored in a cache and updation uh, updation is done there and uh, after some time the after some time uh, depends on uh, the the algorithm you are using uh, these updated updates will be uh, transferred to the disk so immediate update that means you are updating the cache and when you are updating the disk that is if it is immediate update as soon as the data item is modified in the cache this copy is updated that means if there is a change in uh, in the cache then soon that will be updated in the database also deferred update means all modified data items in the cache is written either after tra transactions that means in a transaction you, can, you may be having a number of read as well as write operations deferred update means all modified data items in the cache is written either after a transaction ends its execution or after a fixed number of transactions have completed their execution that is the it is the uh, duty of the database designer to choose whether you are we have to go for immediate update or deferred update that shadow update means modified version of a data item does not overwrite its disk copy but is written at a, at a separate location that means shadow updating means these updates are not directly written to the secondary storage or disks instead it is updating that to another disk copy okay in place update the disk version of the data item is overwritten by the cache version the disk version is uh, of the data item is overwritten by the cache version these are the different data updation techniques now data caching means data items to be modified are first stored into the database cache by the cache manager and after modification they are flushed to the disk Th that we have already discussed flushing is con controlled by modified and pin uh, pin and pin bits pin and pin bit means instructs the operating system not to flush the data item if the pin and pin bit is set that that means uh, not to flush the data item then modified bit modified bit means mo if the modified bit is set it indicates the after image of the indicates the after image of the data item okay that means some modification has been done that is the meaning of modified bit pin and pin bit means if it is set instruct the operation not to flush the data item okay now transaction rollback rollback means suppose that a transaction fails you have to undo that transaction to uh, its previous consistent uh, consistent value and a roll forward a redo that means to maintain atomicity a transaction operations are redone or undone undone means restoring the before image onto disk remove all after images and redo means a restore all after images onto the disk that means uh, if you are uh, doing uh, uh, undo and redo uh, you might have done in your uh, when you are uh, typing something uh, undo and redo can be done likewise undo means suppose that a transaction fails all transactions all operations done by that transaction is uh, <coughs> undone undone that means you are uh, bringing uh, or you are going to the previous consistent image okay that is called undo redo means uh, suppose that a transaction fails and uh, all of suppose that if you want to do the transaction again you are uh, redoing or you are going to uh, redo all the transactions all the transactions one by one okay that is called a redo database recovery is achieved either by performing only undoes or only redoes or by a combination of two that means that depends on the design of the database uh, either you can do uh, undoes only or redoes only or can have a combination of undoes and redoes these operations are recorded in the logos they happen okay database recovery here we have three transactions t1 t2 and t3 in t1 you have uh, some read as well as write items t2 t3 also we are having uh, a set of read and write items read and write operations of three transactions this is uh, here this is a transaction log 
that means uh, to start a transaction T3 means uh, T3 is uh, in initially T3 is uh, starting then uh, read item C the initial value of A, B and C, A, B, C and D are given there then uh, after that write item T3 B 15, 12 means uh, the before image is 15 and after image is 12 that is b b those two values are there it is a right item and the transaction is T3 and uh, that belongs that means the item modified is B and B is modified from uh, 15 to 12 ok then transaction T2 is starting again uh, T, T2 is reading another transaction this is an example of a system logger point of crash that means after some time that means after that means after doing a read item T3A suppose that the system crashes so operations next these are the operations that are done before crash this is illustrating cascading rollback a process that never occur in strict or cascadeless schedules strict schedule and cascadeless schedule never allow rollback here this is a read and write operations of three transactions read and write operations of three transactions b system log at point of crash so read a, these are the read and write operations then these are the system log and three here these are the operations before crash before crash these were the operations these are the operations before crash and system crash happens here now write ahead logging database recovery write ahead logging means when in place update immediate or deferred update is used then log is necessary for recovery and you know it must be available for recovery manager that means when in place update that means immediate or deferred update these are in place updates uh, we have already discussed that this is achieved by write ahead logging protocol write ahead logging means wl protocol wl states that for undo before a data items after image is flushed to the database disk its bfim must be returned to the log and the log must be saved on a stable store ok that means for undo if you want to do undo the, this is the write ahead logging protocol that protocol states that for doing undo for undo before a data items after image is flushed to the database risk, disk that means if you want to overwrite the after image overwrite the before image its bfim must be written to the log and the log must be saved on a stable store that means if any data if you if you want to uh, want to overwrite then before overwriting the previous data value has to be stored in the log disk ok then for redo before a transaction executes its commit operation all its after images must be returned to the log and log must be saved on the stable store that means before a committing before committing a transaction the all the after images must be returned to the log and then only you can do a commit operation that is write ahead logging protocol now next is checkpointing time to time randomly or under some criteria the database flushes its buffer to database disk to minimize the task of recover, disk recovery the following steps defines a checkpoint operation that means instead of here uh, in the above case we have been using uh, this w ahead uh, wl protocol for the systems which are doing in place updates and the system load will be um, lengthy and here in this case checkpointing time to time randomly under some or under some criteria the database flushes its buffer to the database disk to minimize the task of recovery the following steps defines a checkpoint operation suspend execution of transaction temporarily that means when you are doing this checkpointing uh, you are going to temporarily uh, suspend the execution of transactions force write modifier buffer data disk force write modified buffer data to disk that means you are forcefully writing your buffer data to disk then 
write a check point record to the log save the log to disk that means that means uh, in between you are going to have check points instead of in place updates you are going to have check points and you are going to store the after measures uh, only in certain check points that is writing a record to the log save the log to disk then after that resume local normal uh, transaction execution D uh, during recovery redo or undo is required transactions appearing after the checkpoint that means up to that checkpoint it is saved up to the last checkpoint it is saved that is called checkpoint